Good morning, everyone. It's my first morning in Turkey, in Istanbul. I arrived in the evening last night and it was kind of a long travel day for me. So I slept in this morning and I got ready and I'm gonna be going to Taksim Square for the first time uh, in a few minutes. So I'm, I'm excited about that. I was a little nervous. I wasn't really sure what I was supposed to wear today. It's my first time in the country and as a solo female traveler, I definitely don't want to stick out too much and I want to feel comfortable. So All right, I'm going to hit the streets in a couple of minutes and check things out and I'll be recording my first impressions. So that's it for now. All right, I'm probably overthinking this way too much, but solo female traveler, first time in Turkey, first time in Istanbul. Um, yeah, I looked out on the street and I saw a couple of people, a couple of women wearing sleeveless outfits, so I'm going for it. It's a beautiful sunny day, it's 32 degrees Celsius here, so I just wanna enjoy and feel the sun on my skin and experience Taksim Square for the first time. So. I'm wearing it and I'm going out now and I will report my first impressions. So my first impressions of Taxim Square uh, are, are that it's uh, it's very busy, but it's, it's very cool. It's very lively. There's, um, all sorts of like uh, scooters and motorcycles just kind of flying by so you have to be a little bit careful but it's cool I chose a hotel that was really close to Taksim Square uh, because I knew that I wanted to be very centrally located and walk a lot of places good morning everyone so it's my second day in Istanbul and today I'm going to the Hagia Sophia and the Grand Bazaar and I'm walking there. So it's actually going to be probably about an hour. Um, it's Sunday today. The sun is out. Even though the weather forecast said it would be like thunderstorms today, it doesn't look like we're going to get those. So that's good. And uh, I'll be walking across the bridge. I forget the name of the bridge. But anyways, it's a good hour walk. And... It should be good. I get to see parts of the city that way. Um, I recommend anyone who's traveling and if you have the time, walk places rather than take transit if it's possible because you'll never know, you never know what you're going to find when you're just walking down the street. You could see a store that looks really cool that you wouldn't see any other way. So yeah, walking is the best way to travel or explore the city rather. Uh, what else? Yeah, sun is shining. Let me show you what the street looks like out there. Beautiful, sunny, and warm with a bit of a breeze. So it's going to be a good day. So I really wanted to buy some of these lanterns, but I knew that I would probably break them on the way home. So I didn't get to buy any this trip. So as I was walking towards Galata Bridge, um, there was a lot of awesome shopping and it was a very busy street, lots of stuff going on. So my first impressions of Istiklal Street uh, was that it was very, very busy and very lively and lots of shops to check out. So the first time I saw Istiklal Street, which is the main boulevard or shopping center of Istanbul, I was actually kind of intimidated because it's actually so busy and so congested and I I just knew when I first arrived to the city that I was kind of tired so I actually waited a day um, to to check out this area. So I learned pretty quickly that you had to have your wits about you and just pay attention to cars that were on the street. I saw lots of candy shops in Istanbul. So this is the view of the street from my hotel balcony. Um, it was quite a beautiful view, and especially at night with all of the buildings lit up, it was, it was very nice. 
Um, it was very lively, quite loud, um, all hours of the night, but because I was on a higher floor, the sound wasn't really an issue. So this is the part of the walk closer to Galata Bridge and the street started getting quite steep. So I just kept thinking about how uh, it was fun to walk down, but might be a little bit challenging to walk up after a long day of sightseeing. So this is when I was crossing Galata Bridge and I was a little bit worried that it was going to rain, but luckily it didn't. Um, and it was just a, it was an exciting moment crossing the bridge and getting into the old city. So this was my first visit to Aya Sophia and my initial thoughts were that it was very grand and very impressive um, and very beautiful. So in order to enter Aya Sophia, I had to cover my hair and shoulders with a scarf, which was quite a new experience for me. After my visit to Aya Sophia, I ended up walking back across the Galata Bridge and then I went to the Galata Tower, which was probably one of the highlights of my stay in Istanbul. Uh, it was just so beautiful and you could go to the very top of the tower and see an amazing panoramic view of the city. And at, especially at night, it was very impressive to see all the lights and to see the water. But before I went to the tower, I stopped to buy some juice. And that was a really cool experience because you get to choose what type of fruit you want. And then the person um, juices it on the spot. And so it's very, very fresh and it was very delicious. I highly recommend the pomegranate juice. So this was my first experience hearing the Azan, which was very cool. So after that awesome long day of walking to Aya Sophia and checking out uh, lots of shopping places and Galata Tower, I walked home back to my hotel, exhausted, but I had the best day ever. Also, before my visit to Galata Tower, I walked down a nearby street and ended up at this cool square and I got to see the sunset. <laughs> 